Okay, well the first step is going to be to install the stabilizer hitch into your vehicle. Now, if you're having to do this when you get to the campsite, I recommend you use two people because it is a fairly heavy piece of equipment here. So lift it up into your receiver. Line up the holes so that your pin can go through. And then whatever kind of pin you have, make sure it's locked and secured. That's how you hook up the hitch to the receiver. All right, your next step is to line your vehicle up so that the ball is underneath the RV's receiver. Once you've done that, and I recommend you use a spotter doing this, even with a backup camera, you'll be able to press the retract button on the nose jack and bring the RV down onto the ball. Once the RV is down on the ball, this sliding latch will slide forward and go underneath the ball and it will sit down into a groove. Once you've actually got this completely forward, take your pin, install it through the hole and latch the pin on the other side. Now, before you take all the weight off of the nose jack stand here, you're best to take your stabilizer arms and get them onto the RV. To do that, you'll take out the pin and swing the arm in, lift it onto the platform, and then replace the pin and flip the latch down to secure it. The same will be done on the opposite side. Now, if you have trouble lifting this up with your hand, if it's Perhaps you're at your RV campsite and RV tongue is just not quite level, so this is very hard to get up. This tool is in the forward left compartment. This tool is used to lift this up onto the platform. To do so, you'll go underneath the arm and put this tip inside the hole on the platform. Then you'll lift it using leverage and it will slide in then replace the tool back in the forward left compartment. Once you have your stabilizer arms on, go ahead and fully retract the nose. After the nose is fully retracted, take your power plug, plug it into your receiver on the vehicle. It's a seven pin receiver. Then take your chains, Put your chains onto your tow vehicle hitch. And then lastly, there's an emergency brake on the RV, which is this cable right here. It's looped through the left chain. Hook that onto your tow vehicle as well. So if there is an emergency and the RV breaks loose, it won't actually go out of control, the brakes on the RV will stop. Okay, once the tow vehicle and the RV are hooked up, we want to do one final walkthrough. So we'll walk around and make sure all the doors are shut. We'll want to grab the chocks. So we'll take the chocks and stow those in one of the compartments. Make sure the outdoor kitchen is stowed. Make sure that the awning is fully retracted. If you rent our large white cooler, that can be strapped down here on this deck. Otherwise, this deck can also be raised at the hinge points. Make sure our rear compartment is closed. Make sure that our caps are on for the water sources. And our electrical plug location is shut. And of course, that the awning is full in. Or excuse me, the 
slide is full in. And once you have finished, we should be ready to travel.